welcome back to Forensics Detailing Channel. Those following the channel might have seen Martin's new Porsche project. This is stage two of the it project, is. isn't it? it so is. what, what's so going on? Since the last video, we've now put the uh, a genuine aero front bumper on. Yeah. Um, and we're about to give it a extreme deep clean and strip it down, ready for part three, um, which we're going to be filming shortly, and it'll be on the uh, be on your video very soon, won't it? So John? this is wash prep it. Yep. For we well for the next for the, for next, the next stage bit. yeah you could probably yeah, next, you might have a rough idea of what's what yeah. one of the next stages but well maybe mm. but a lot of people I saw in the comments saying whatever you do don't let him wrap it well that's not what we're doing so, no we're not wrapping it no we're doing something cool though something's gonna maybe set some trends who knows so let's, let's get it so. let's get it foamed down let's get it done here we go music B roll Doug. <laughs> Where my main man Harry's going to start stripping the rear end, and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. So the next step will be to take these out, badges off, and a few more little bits and bobs, and then we'll. Uh, well, what's yeah, going on? Then we'll go from there, shall we? now inside and uh, I'm about to give the game away on what I'm doing so as you can see it's all uh, stripped down and there's something going on in the bonnet and you probably won't better tell too much what it is at the moment but I'm just about to explain so with this car no I'm not wrapping it but the idea is we're going to PPF the whole vehicle but we're going to use a new technology which is color change now this technology is still a clear PPF but it's got a metallic tint in it and when it goes on a black or a white car or a dark car it will change the colour. Really really clever um, it's been made by Pro Film, and these are the colour variations we've got at the moment. Now they're all metallics um, the benefit of doing this over obviously doing a, a, a wrap on a car is you can see what's underneath so people don't need to be scared and also the main benefit is protection of the paint. So you actually physically protect your paintwork under that PPF layer. Yep. The PPF is it self healing? Yep. So any wash related marring and stuff when the, the film gets hot in the sun can disappear, which is cool. Yep. So how long is this warranty for? Right, this particular film is a seven year warranty due to the metallic in it. Um, Pro Film do other films as well. So they do a product that's seven year and they also do their top of the range product which is Ultra Clear Pro and that's a 12 year product. They also do a satin um, and I think that's a 10 year product. What this does is it gives us protection, changes the look of the car, ease of maintenance and no worries of stone chips or scratching. Yeah. So this is also a really cool option for brand new cars because you get a brand new car, you can change the colour and protect the car. Yeah. 
So you can, if, especially if you're modifying the car as well, put different alloys on it, stuff like that. It's great. And that's one of the reasons yeah, you're going with this, and, isn't and, it? And I'll be honest, you know, we've done quite a few different versions. Like satin's a big thing these days and matte PPFs because they change the look of a car. Um, gloss is obviously the most popular, but with this new technology, we wanted to put it on sort of my car and then just showcase it really. Yeah. Um, because we just think it's unreal, and the, the fact that you can just change the colour of your car and protect it in one hit, yeah. it seems like... And a lot of people brain. don't want to wrap their car, but want to PPF it, now they've got the option of changing the colour. Um, you mentioned earlier on that the base colour of the car is really important when you're yeah, putting a colour change to your phone. Yeah, so this, this film works best on black or white, so it gives it a, a totally different look. If it goes on a dark grey, it will change the colour, but it won't be exactly the same as this. So yeah. what we would always recommend doing is putting a test piece on a yeah. panel and seeing if the customer likes it. But based on a black, black solid, black metallic, or pearl white, or even white, you're going to get a, a fantastic finish. Yeah. Um, and the, and the, the main thing that we love about this is this has got a paint finish. So the gloss yeah, yeah. is off the Richter scale. I mean, it really, really is amazing. It's It's got no orange peel on it. It's it's just a, an amazing finish. In fact, it's better than some paint finishes. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So the, let's watch these guys in action laying this PPF down. And um, we're going to show See you the final happens. car. Because the car's not going to be finished after the PPF goes down. There's a couple of other things to go on. Yes. But, but you can get an idea of what it's like to lay this down from the footage we're about to show you. QB roll. The green machine is pretty much complete. We're about 99% finished on the PPF. Um, so what I decided to do is colour change the whole car, but protect it at the same time. Um, as earlier we stated, this works on a black car. Um, we've gone to a great level of detail on this car, so it looks like paint. We've, we've, we've gone in everywhere we can. Um, we've taken bits off we can, we've extended stuff so literally it looks like a paint finish i mean if you look at that yeah. you can see that you know there's no joins here it's all been tucked and done properly and then again up here so if you have a look at this look here this has all been cut most people probably wouldn't even bother but we've actually made this has been removed and then yep, wrapped removed, over yeah and then it's wrapped in there so there's no edges we've even done a little bit for this section and gone right away across there the handles have also we won't show that well, but they're a bit dusty and dirty at the moment. But the handles have all been PPFs. The mirror caps. Again, we've got a couple of little touches I want to do in here, just so we can remove any black from in here. But I'll get that done in a in a week or so. Just busy with other jobs at the moment. Yeah. Um, the mirror caps. Yeah, like I say. So in the light in here, you can see it's an extremely dark, deep green, and it can almost look. It can almost look black yeah and that's what's so nice about this it's a really subtle so in low light it's darker yeah it looks really dark in fact it almost looks black with just a tiny hint of green and then as soon as you get it in the sun which we'll see in a minute it pops yeah but it's not it's really tasteful it's... i mean the metallic in it's beautiful yeah it does films have come such a long way the, over the gloss the level years. on this i mean the fact that we've got a, a, something that's going to protect the vehicle yeah and you know also enhance the paint finish 
Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I'm, it's, look at the focus, look. So the good thing about PPFs now, you know, the, the, you can't see any texture and you get that nice reflection. Yeah, there's no orange peel on this film. It's, it's it, you know, it's, it's got an amazing finish. And if you look on the, so on the back bumper here, there you go, see your bonnet. So on the back bumper, we've, we've so I wanted to do a couple of other little bits because the front split is sat in black. So what we've done down here is we've gone sat in black here. And then we're going to do the badge, the C4S badge in satin black, and then it's stage three. Not tempting for gold for the badge. No, stage I've three. I've given them a clue about some of the other bits there, haven't I? <laughs> uh, we're not going too far. <laughs> yeah, so this is just part two, really, the, the colour transformation, yeah, the colour change. It's, then it's going into a workshop, and we're going to start some other bits. Yeah. Um, a few mechanical then, yeah, things. Part three will be the end result, hopefully. Yeah, and then it'll be finished, and it, then it's going to be a car. And enjoy it. Yeah. Yep. It That's drives whole... nice already. I've had a little yeah, drive, and it's got short shifter, isn't it? Yeah, because it's, yeah, it's got a battery short shifter. Yeah, which I'm, I like. I may all red, put all red rear lights in. I haven't decided yet. I think once the whole car's together, we'll go sort yeah. of from there. The but rear like, end of this car is one. It's something I love. But if you drive behind these, they look really, really nice. Right. It's the arches. It's just a really good, timeless kind of design, isn't it? The Martin's timeless classics. <laughs> So I've still got to put the um, still got to put the uh, the the I can't even talk the spatch guards on there. Yeah. The factory ones. We're really cut those just to protect the PPF. We've got a couple of bits to do on the mirrors. A couple of little bits to do on the front bumper, and a tiny couple of little bits to do on the back. But the PPS ninety nine. And you excited now, Martin? I'm getting there. I, I still till it's because it's work, isn't it? It's work. Yeah, and we we're under pressure. Obviously, we've got this in here. We've got a Defender ninety out there for PPF. This has got to be moved out now. Yeah. And then... And this can... is going to sit here for a while and the film fully dries. Yeah, we can give it another check over and then in, in basically in a couple of weeks, part three happens. And then hopefully I can start driving it and enjoying yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And, I can't... You know, part three is going to be process. really cool because you'll see the finished thing. We'll do some nice money shots with it. It's going to look a little bit different to this, but not massively. You're getting an idea of what it's going to look like, but there's a few really cool little touches that are going to make this car unique. So thanks, Martin, for showing us the um, transformation outside, process. Yeah, we'll take it outside and show you some so shots in the sun.